Cab rides in Seoul will be more expensive starting Saturday. It's the first fare hike in half a decade. Reactions, as you might expect, have been quite different from passengers and drivers. Lee Min Sun helped us look beyond the numbers. The new fares take effect on Saturday at 4 a.m. The base fare is going up almost 27 percent to 3,801, or about three U.S. dollars and 40 cents. It's the first increase since October 2013. People in Korea have gotten used to taxis being relatively cheap over the years. So even though drivers have promised better service, some people are unhappy about the higher fares. As a student, this is a huge increase. It would be good if they improved their service, but there's no one to check, so it's hard to make sure that happens. It's about time that taxi fares go up, but it seems rather sudden. I'll take public transportation more. They've always talked about improving their service, but it's never really happened. It might seem logical to expect better service if you're paying more, but drivers say even with the increase, the fares aren't very high. It's still nothing compared to other countries. If passengers want better service, then they should pay more. Regular taxi drivers will do just as they've always done and keep refusing passengers. When taxi fares go up, we lose passengers for a while. But I will always try to provide better service, not just because the fare is risen. The Seoul Private Taxi Association has promised better service in exchange for the higher pay, like keeping their cars cleaner, drivers not smoking in the car, and putting more taxis on the streets at night. But many people aren't convinced they will. The city government says it will check up on their service and has already taken various measures. Recently, it penalized 22 taxi companies caught refusing passengers. It also plans to introduce taxis that are for women only. Meanwhile, the province of Gyeonggi-do, which surrounds the capital, is also looking at increasing its base fare for the first time in five years. Lee Min-sun, Arirang News.